and a very warm welcome to you. I'm Hayley Palmer. It's so good to have you here with me on the show this evening, especially as we have such a great guest for you. Wow, it's Faye from Steps. And here is what happened when I caught up with her. Faye, it's great to have you on the show. How are you? Hi, Hayley. I'm really good, thank you. Thanks for having me on. Oh, no, it's an absolute pleasure. We're very excited to have you here on At Home with Hayley. And obviously, we're sort of coming out uh, now from the lockdown. What have you been up to? Oh, my goodness. What haven't we been up to? Um, <laughs> lockdown one, we were celebrating in the sunshine. We had no idea what was going on. Had a lovely time. <laughs> we didn't care about our waistlines. We were partying in the garden. <laughs> um, and then we Love went that. through homeschooling um and then we had a little oh, lift on lockdown song. and um yeah. we were able to put out um our brand new steps album which was what the future holds we recorded yes. new videos um we did some work together and then we went back into lockdown and um we've been doing lots of remote working and just getting as much as we can out there uh, with the uh, circumstances that are what they are. <laughs> yeah, no, it's so good. And I know I've spoken to a lot of our viewers and we've all said, you know, your music has really kept us going in the pandemic. You've only got to put a step song on and it just gives you, gives you that kind of lift and happiness. So um, music is really, you know, a medicine, isn't it? Oh, it really is. And I mean, thank you for saying that. I mean, it's been brilliant for us. We've had such an incredible response from everyone. Um, and I guess because everyone's at home videoing or doing their TikToks or what have you, you know, it's been great to see uh, people on so social media doing all the old moves and learning the new dances. So yeah, we've kept ourselves busy and everybody else, it seems. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, we're going to go into the first song uh, today, Heartbreak uh, in the City with Mish El Bizarre. How did that actually come about? So um, Michelle and I uh, had the same partner on Strictly. So I was class of 2018, yes. she was class of 2019. So um, I reached out to her just for support. I said, well done, you're doing brilliantly. And uh, the next thing I knew, Michelle was uh, on FaceTime calling me and I was like, ah, hi. Um, and we became really good friends. And then uh, when Step's album, uh, What the Future Holds was coming out, I asked if she'd come and uh, host an Instagram live for us. And during the conversation, we were just like that, yeah, you've got to do something with us. And we called her straight afterwards and actually made it happen. And she said yes. And I think it's been like a passion project for all of us. It's just been a really, really good fun thing to do. So yeah, win-win. And will she be coming on your tour with you? I've been asked to uh, ask you that question, Faye. We have no idea um, what Michelle's schedule is going to be, but she said as soon as um, she knows what's going on, she's going to be there with bells on. And otherwise, I'm going to be stealing her away and just kidnapping her hey. from somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to check out the video. It's absolutely brilliant. Enjoy this. And Faye and I will see you after. to rewind a little bit because how did steps actually come together in the first place wow okay um so we're throwing right back to may the 7th 1997 um and there was an uh, there was an audition in the stage newspaper they were looking for boys and girls to sing and dance to um front a pop song and at the time it was 5678 which was a line dancing pop song we didn't know this via the advert so we all came it was uh, uh, singing and dancing throughout the whole day. And by the end of it, Claire, Lee and I were chosen because Lisa and H were already in the band and had been going around with some other guys um, for a while before. Um, and then once we got together as this five sim, uh, Pete Waterman took us up and the rest is history. Yeah, I mean, did you ever think that you would have so much success? Because it's just been incredible, hasn't it? Goodness, no. I mean, 24 years later, I don't think so. Um, it was, we were literally, um, just chosen to do this one song. So, um, as far as we can, we were concerned, we were going to do the song and then go and find another job. So, no, absolutely no idea. And we're so, so grateful. Yeah. And I remember in those days, Faye, you had the long dreadlocks and I wanted mine like that as well, but I was just too scared <laughs> to actually go through with it. Uh, <laughs> it looks oh amazing. Goodness, um, yeah, that was a look. I mean, having very, very 
poodly type curly hair, which I do naturally, thank heavens for straighteners, before <laughs> the times of straighteners. Um, yeah, we, we did lots of experimenting with lots of things, but um, yeah, that was probably my noisiest hairdo, right? No, I loved it. And we're actually speaking of dreadlocks, we're going to play out uh, Tragedy. Uh, we've got your dreadlocks in this one. We love that. Uh, this was your first number one. And I saw you guys do this on the crooner sessions with Gary Barlow. And that really yeah. made my day as well. That was brilliant. Was that good fun to film? Oh, just so much fun. And I think we needed that uplift. And uh, to get all of us involved together at the same time with Gary was just brilliant fun. So, um, yeah, go see it. It's out on YouTube, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, yeah, so we can still check that out. Well, we're going to play out uh, the video now to tragedy. And we want everyone doing the dance routine at home. Here we go. going to play is scared of the dark i mean you guys came back with a bang didn't you in 2017 um this went straight to number one uh on the itunes chart and it was really well received wasn't it oh my goodness i think um the song for us when it landed on the table was just amazing it was so dramatic and um sort of the whole build up um, coming up to that album was was really special for us because we hadn't done an original studio recorded album like that for years. And it was a big leap of faith, I guess, for us as well. Um, and it went down a storm and we're over the moon. And I've got to say, it's still um, one of my new favorite step songs. So yeah, I love this one. Oh, we love it here too. Enjoy this and see you after. I want to talk about your What the Future Holds tour, uh, which is in November and December. Now, the question is, have you decided your set list yet? Oh, my goodness. That is the actual hardest thing in the world. We've now got yeah. seven studio albums to choose from. So I think we're going to have to do like a two part tour. No, <laughs> I'm joking. We're going to um, ask our fan base if they can send us their favorite songs Aww. um we obviously um we always try to do um a lot of work from the original classics how everybody got to know us um and breathe new life into those but it's going to be a really really hard decision this time so yeah. i hope we don't let anyone down Aww. send all your ideas to no, us i love how you yeah. involve everyone i think that's such a lovely idea and i think you know it, it, we all want to be involved and uh, that goes a long way you know, we, we just want everyone to have the best night ever. And sure, I mean, don't we deserve it this time? It's going to be such a buzz to be out there. It's going to be such an adrenaline rush. And we just don't want anyone to be disappointed. So we're just going to try our absolute best. Yes, we can't wait. Oh, well, you mentioned earlier about the What the Future Holds album. Obviously, you know, you had to delay it. But we are um, looking at What the Future Holds part two coming soon, aren't we? I know. Um, so I think we had discussed um, doing like a deluxe version. Um, but because of the way lockdown has been and because we had so many great songs on the table, we were like, do you know what? It feels right to do something else now. So we kind of put all the ideas around to our creators, to the record company. We were throwing around ideas and we were like, well, no, I think we need to do part two. So um, it's nearly complete. It was almost nearly complete anyway, but we've got some like little things up our sleeves. Um, we've got a mystery track on there as well, which I'm really excited about. <laughs> oh, love that. Love that. Well, we'll keep us posted here. We can't wait for that. Okay. Um, we're going to play out uh, What the Future Holds. Am I right in saying this was written by Sia? Yeah, that's right. Um, again, another time where we had some amazing songs put on the table for us to all listen to and choose from. And we didn't actually know it was written by Sia because I think sometimes when you know who it's written by, you can have a preconceived idea or be biased. Um, and we absolutely loved it. And we based our whole album and, and probably most of the tour around this. So, um, yeah, really wow. exciting. Yeah, we'll check this out and we'll see you after this. <laughs> some questions from some of our lovely viewers uh katie would like to know what was your favorite music video to do oh gosh yeah that's a really tough question i know i know i know um deeper shade of blue oh yeah i think um 
it was probably the most out there video we'd done on that first run of steps. Um, I loved the way it turned out. It was a pretty tricky one during the day because everyone had such crazy costumes and makeup and setups as well. But I think that was the most sort of extravagant, good, weird and wonderful, quirky one. So, yeah, I've got to say it that was. One. We like that. Good choice. And uh, Sam would like to know, will there be an official routine uh, for To The Beat Of My Heart? Oh, good question. OK, so that really wasn't supposed to be um, a big video situation or dart situation. So we did put it on social media that everyone should try and do different choreography for us and have some fun. There were some amazing uh, dances that we saw from everybody. Um, <laughs> but at the moment, um, it's kind of in the air. I think we might have to sort something out for tour at the end of the year in November. Yeah, Ooh. that's a watch this space moment. Watch this space, <laughs> definitely. Oh, we're going to play out my favourite, our One for Sorrow. This brings back so many memories um, of when I was in my teenage years, Faye, back in the day, back in the day. Uh, but yeah. I love the video to this, um, In the Sunflowers. But am I right in saying that actually the other side of the sunflowers was like sewage and it smelled horrible? A sewage plant! <laughs> I mean, no. the magic of television. Um, and in fact, um, on that day as well, we were doing all our choreography, beautiful background, um, and Claire actually got stung really badly by a hornet near her armpit at the time. Oh, bless her. I mean, bless her. She doesn't have that much luck on video shoots. But um, yeah, not so glamorous, huh? No, but anyway, it's a great video. Enjoy it. We'll see you after this. <laughs> Oh, no, Faye, we're going to play out the last song, Stomp, which I definitely do know the dance routine to this one. Uh, this was your second uh, number one, wasn't it? And it went straight to number one. Yeah, I mean, we've got different number ones in different countries for different songs, but um, it's definitely been a firm favourite over here. And one when we do it on tour, it's a real crowd pleaser. So, um, And it's one of my favourite ones to perform live. So, yeah, yeah so we're we going to play out uh, Stomp <laughs> now for everyone. But... Faith, thank you so much. This has been such a dream. I, I was saying to you off camera, I used to be a dance teacher and I would teach, well, I wouldn't teach the routines. The children would already know the routines. Um, so this, <laughs> this brings back so many memories for me. I know we're all up dancing tonight and, you know, just like you say, after everything we've been through, this really is medicine uh, for us here tonight on the show. So thank you for giving up the time to come on. Oh, not at all. Thank you so much for having me and I hope everyone's really enjoyed this hour um, and dance along and join me. I'm going to be joining with you. <laughs> Woo! Thank you so much. It's Faye Tozer, everyone. Thank you. Oh, we've now come to the end of the show, but a huge thank you to the lovely Faye from Steps. Just brilliant. And what a show it has been. Thank you. And to you at home for supporting the show. It's so appreciated. Thank you. Now we're going to leave you with Stomp and I will see you same time, same place next week. Now is the time